Today I'm going to tell you about the BDSM slave holidays that we run at Bundatrix. We do these either for a single submissive to come along or you can come along as a couple and have a teaching experience with plenty of opportunity to play either the two of you or with me joining in. So this is the cell at the front of the house where you can be locked in and left. This could either be a big part of the stay, a very small part or not used at all. Every holiday is individual and tailored to what you're interested in yourself. So you can be put in there, locked in and left. And we have a kitchen here. All the meals are provided during your stay. You can either help with the cooking if you're interested in mate duties or I can do all the cooking for you. I have a nice dining table we can sit at and be civilised or you can eat out of a dog bowl on the floor. We have the mystery piece of furniture here which is very good for fair play but I'm going to leave it covered up and leave it to your imagination and if you come along then you can find out what it is and get strapped in there. We have a nice spanking bench here, which is good for all kinds of impact play, which is a bit of a speciality of mine. Flogging, canes, paddles, whips. We have rope mats laid out, so I do a lot of rope bondage. We can do sensory deprivation, other types of bondage here. We have the cage, so you can be locked in something in the lounge while I sit and read a book with you there in the corner. I have had some people sleep in here, but it's a little bit tight unless you're quite petite. A nice yoke, which is lots of fun, and then a few interesting weapons which might get used for fear play and sensation play. In the evening, you might end up in a body bag on the sofa while we watch a nice film about kink. The holidays can be tailored to whatever you and I decide. So some people like to do a range of different scenes throughout the day and then have breaks in between where we take the collar off and we chat and we have the laugh. Some people want the collar to come in as soon as they come in the door and then that's it, they're in slave mode for the whole visit. And we can do it either way. At the end of the day, if you want a nice comfortable bed to sleep in, then you have your private bedroom here. If you want to spend the night in bondage, then we can also do that. So if all this sounds really interesting, then check out the website, Bondatrix. You'll be there with me, there on the card. And check out the slave holidays. They run for 24 hours at a time. So you can have one lot of 24 hours or multiples of that if you want to stay for two or three days. I look forward to talking to you about it.